So if you shoot with a fast imaging Newtonian reflector like I do, you've probably run into comet-shaped stars and all kinds of jacked up funky stars. Well, I did four things <laughs> to fix that. So let's get started in what I did. Number one, the Hotec laser. So the Hotec laser uh, is pretty cool, but it lied to me. And the reason it lied to me is because it wasn't collimated. And I thought, how in the world do you collimate it? There's no screws on this thing. Look, there's nothing. There's this little adjustment screw here. So yeah, it wasn't lined up. And I'm like, how the heck? Do you call me this thing? And then Tegan at uh, High Point Scientific, those guys are great down there, said, hey, you see this little tapered part right here? Uh, I won't focus on it. Yeah, anyway, you unscrew it. And then your collimation screws are right here. So if you have the, uh, you have the Hotec laser collimator, unscrew this little ferrule right here and collimate your laser. And the way I did that was having the eyepiece straight up, set it inside and rotated it until the little uh, laser wouldn't make circles. It stayed in one spot when I rotated it. A lot of guys make like a, um, a little brace or something to rotate it this way. But I just found putting it in your eyepiece, set it there, make it sure it's loose and then rotating it like this, you're gonna see the laser against the mirror. And you're gonna see it doing this. Whoa. So, once you adjust these, hey, you're shooting out there. People are shooting at me. Uh, once you adjust these little screws, this will line up, and this will get you close. Number two, focuser leveling. Actually, it's more like focuser alignment. So, my actual focus, the main body of my focus tube here, was not uh, level. So meaning I put a level on the vein of the secondary mirror to rotate the scope this way. And I also put a level on the top of the scope to make sure that my scope was perfectly level. Level and plumb. And what I noticed was when I put the level on top of the draw tube here, it was out. So the actual focus knob has to be removed. So removing these four bolts here and pulling this focus solder off will allow you to get to these little grub screws that are down in here. I know it sucks the way I'm pointing at these things, but get over it. <laughs> uh, so adjusting these and then locking them down will actually tilt this focuser and mine was way out from the factory. Number three, I made a fake star. So the best way to really find out if your fast Newtonian, astrograph Newtonian is collimated is defocusing a star. And so why did I make a star out of a flashlight, black duct tape, and a piece of plastic with a hole in it. <laughs> because I did. Uh, because I just needed a, a fixed point to be able to defocus. And what that does is it creates a, a donut. So you see your central obstruction, which is your secondary mirror, and then your outer perimeter area. Those need to be symmetrical. So instead of getting on Bright Star and tracking it and possibly losing it, um, I made this. So the fourth thing I did, I like that. I don't know why I like doing that. Uh, was like I alluded to with the fake star. This is the business end. This is the primary end of your telescope. This is the primary mirror. 
These are your three adjustment screws, and then these are your three lock screws. Oh, watch this. These little boogers are hard. To, they're just, and that's where like uh, Bob's knobs comes in. You know, I guess you can replace these, but I couldn't find them for the Skywatcher. So if they're out there, let me know. But guess what I did? I, uh, I found a deep well socket. I put some duct tape in it and it fits on there perfect. Look. What? Anyway. Um, so once you get your star in line, either the fake star or a real star, you're, you're gonna defocus it till you see uh, like a donut shape and a light. And the center dark obstruction is gonna be your secondary mirror. And you want that to be centered now. One thing to, rec one thing to uh, realize is that when you adjust these knobs to move that center obstruction into the center of the star circle, well, guess what? The whole thing is gonna move off the screen. So you're constantly gonna be using your, uh, your hand controller or sit at the computer with EQ mod, however you adjust your mouse. So that's why it's really cool uh, using the fake star and using the fake star is great but guess what you're gonna have to be about 50 feet away because when you start adjusting these knobs right here the actual image what you're seeing is gonna move off the screen just think of it you're bouncing light back and you're pointing and you're focusing that focal point of that light to a different spot so you're gonna have to slightly adjust your right ascension and declination to get that back in the center um, <clears throat> and what I used uh, what sharp cap sharp cap works great because it's got a bullseye which you can line up and make sure you get everything centered up and when i did that magic great sharp stars all the way around oh i forgot there's one other thing i did there's really like five things um crap how can i show you Scratch that, this is future Steve. There's actually six things, whatever. <laughs> when I, did I say four? Did I say five? I really meant six. Um, but this is the fifth thing. Look at this, look at this dude. From here to here, you know what that is? This is the Skywatcher uh, dedicated coma corrector. I bought that. It never ends, people. You will never stop spending money. If you're watching this video and you're like, eh, that looks pretty cool, I think run away. Just like the Knights did on Monty Python and the Holy Grail when the crazy rabbit came out. Run away. You're never gonna stop spending money. Anyway, uh, from High Point Scientific, the dedicated, and look how big this thing is. So now, you know, my other um, Bader Mark III or Mark II coma corrector was about that big and it was all tapered and you could never get it centered in there and you felt like you weren't really adjusted right. Yeah, look at this, pretty cool. And it did make a difference. Here's the other thing I did. See this little guy right here? All these uh, standard Newtonians come with one, two set screws. That's it. What good is two set screws? It's always pushing it over to one side. So I drilled and tapped and added another set screw. So now, when I slide it in, and I run this set screw in here. Now I have this one here, and I have three points locking my camera in place. And voila, um, coma corrector, focuser adjustment, uh, Hotec manipulation. Thanks, Tegan. Appreciate that, buddy. And then secondary mirror adjustment and fake star. It's easy, just like that six and you're done but trust me um, it's well worth it so you know the Cheshire eyepiece the laser they're all great to get you somewhat close but defocusing that star getting on a bright star you know if you're using a batten off mass to focus uh, just go ahead and run that focuser all the way in and watch that star go Wah! it's amazing and if that if your center obstruction isn't centered if it's off to one side or the other, center it up, primary mirror. All right, 
This is Steve, and you've been watching Entering Into Space.